Hey friends, what's up? Red Gamer here. Welcome just to a random little video. So, it's just gonna be like a relaxing video. Just kind of, kind of chill with Redneck. That that is the title of the video. Chill with Redneck. I probably already knew that though. Um. So. There's nothing really I wanted to talk about, just, just kind of chill and talk about whatever pops in my mind. First of all, I do want to address, I, I do want to dress, I do want to address why there hasn't been videos recently. Part of that just has to do with, well, well, I injured my knee, um, well, not really injured, but my knee's hurting and um got got it checked out today actually today the uh today the 18th so basically the reason there hasn't been any views is because my knee was hurting it just kind of made me uncomfortable and kind of kind of drained didn't really want to do anything so, um, yeah, dribble there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just kind of wanted to relax and rest my knees, sort of. But like I said, got checked out today. Um, they didn't find anything wrong. They did some tests. I uh, got, got some x-rays done. And, um, they, they didn't find anything wrong. Uh, they, the doctor said it's probably just everything being loose, my knee. The joint being loose and muscles being loose, because like super school. You probably if you all watch my uh, what's it called? the 5,000 subscriber, 1 million view special. I did that day in the life, life apart. I did that little vlog section in the bathroom at the school. So uh, that uh, yeah, that you from that you probably know that I just school and I guess state too are forcing me to take a stretching and toning class I know bullshit right but they're making me do that because I need a, a, a fitness credit to actually graduate so they forced me to take that and ever since I took that man it messed my knee up so bad and it's the same knee I've had I hit I injured Quite a few times, uh, I used to be a max back in the day. Back, back when that was an actual thing. I used to do BMX biking. I, nothing, nothing major, like, n I never went to any tournaments or parks or anything. Just kind of did it on the back roads where I lived. And, uh, yeah. Probably messed it up. Just, just over the years, though, all the injuries to the knee upsetting them and just just not being happy really I hope to get some videos out there obviously this one's gonna be coming out hopefully Tuesday the 19th hopefully I uh, have been having a couple computer problems but that's all techy bullshit shit bullshit shit yeah does that make sense yeah, makes sense to me so that's all that matters but yeah just that's all I wanted to talk about, talk about. That's all the serious shit that I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> Sexy, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Not, not much else I really wanted to talk about. Yes, I got to dip in. Got to live in. I actually have a dip with me. Put it in my back pocket. Got some, some beautiful Copenhagen mint. Very, very good stuff. Hmm. I did it for a while now. I think it's starting to break apart. Um. Yeah. If y'all aren't really into like the stronger dips, like wintery, I really do recommend the uh, either Southern Rip Blend, but. Here in PA, that's pretty expensive. It's like seven dollars a can, um, compared to mint and wintergreen, which are like two, three bucks. 
but um, you guys just want like a nice, nice, uh, I guess you can say calm dip that's not power, not too powerful, but still lasts long, like 45, half an hour, 45 minutes. I, I recommend, I recommend mint. It's, it's not an overpowering powering mint too, which I really like. Um, I heard stories of some other dip, some other dip brains, like Skull, I think it was Skull. My friend was telling me about, uh, it was a real strong mint. Or maybe it wasn't Skull, I think Skull was like, it could barely take it. I can't remember. But, I recommend it. Uh, personally, it's my choice to dip. I do like winter reading. Uh, I'm not a pussy. It's just, it's overpowering, really. And I found that, if you all don't know, I have ADD, right? And I take Alvarol for that. So. <clears throat> had some, had some leaf come off. Anyway. Uh, yeah, take AD, Alvarol for, yeah, I take ADD for my ADD. But I take Alvarol for it. And I <coughs> just swallowed them. Jesus. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this is what happens when I don't play MVGs, okay? But, um. I was saying. Oh, whenever I take my Ardol, I can dip Winter Green just fine. But if I don't, I don't know what happens. I think it's my immune system or some, something. Something's weird. That it makes me sick. Like I know I don't swallow stuff because I I hardly ever swallowed it because that shit's disgusting and it'll fuck you up. <laughs> part part of my language, by the way. But um, yeah. What else is there? Uh, been working on my mowers a little bit. Uh, it is beautiful out, by the way. Like you can see, I'm in short season. I wish I was in like. I'm so sure, but it's all dirty now. With that over the weekend when I was gardening. Yes, I garden. It's not just a female thing. I actually quite enjoy gardening, actually. Um, actually, actually, just today before I came, came in here to mess around with, with, with the mowers and do this, uh, I split a hosta, hosta plant. Uh, I used to work for landscaping, so I know a lot about like transplanting plants and gardening and landscaping in general so uh, I, I split the hosta I uh, split it into two, two different beds now uh, headed for about oh not two three shit even maybe, maybe four years it's been in the same spot so it's pretty big the main plant is pretty big you can probably split it again to be honest which I might do I don't know I don't have an exact plan for how I want the beds to look yet but um is this this is one trouble area along the house that um we think it's a pickle vine or something but uh it's it keeps coming back and really invades that area of the house where it pops up like goes up a wall comes out into the yard and um it's just it's just annoying really so trying to plant stuff there and put some pond rock in that keep that away I think I got most of it out but you know there might be that little piece in there that uh, that'll sprout for some stupid reason like we even poured we went to the extreme right this, this is a true redneck garden right here we poured some freaking gasoline on the damn thing it killed it one month later one month we put this gasoline on like late uh, late August and it, it came back around October which is really weird and it's just it's just crazy like i don't recommend it by any sorts but if it comes to the extreme where y'all have these weeds keep popping up and can't get rid of try some gasoline just just remember you put the gasoline there <laughs> you don't want to toss a cigarette butt out and then burn your house down or anything like that make sure it's like a, a moist week or a moist time of the year when there's a, a good bit of rain and the ground's wet and there's not the uh, awful 
the red flag warning, I guess. Make sure it's you're not in one of those times. So Arizona, you probably should have luck on that one. But um, like you don't want to, you don't want anything to happen. So just be careful when you do that. Do do that. I do not recommend it. I'm just saying it works. Hmm. Yeah, it's starting to break right now. But um. Um, what else is there? How much else? Uh, hopefully y'all are doing good. Hopefully your lives are doing well. See, I don't ever get the time to make these videos to connect them with you, so. Hopefully y'all are doing good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the spring is doing you well. Hopefully all your farmers are plant 16s going on. Hopefully that's do doing good for y'all. I know the, uh, potato farmer down the, down the road is planting their... Taters, uh, taters, and then today actually saw them head out around 6:30 this morning, and uh, whole whole combo really. It was really cool. Uh, went down down the road there, and planted some there, and actually drove by their farm on the way back from my doctor's appointment. And they were fishing. They, they, they did some damn fast work. <laughs> like they they are efficient sons of bitches over there. King's Potato Farm. I oh, should I just give away my location? God damn it! Eh, I'm sure. I'm sure y'all aren't crazy enough to actually track me down. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, hopefully y'all labs are doing good. Hopefully farmers are having good luck with plant 16. Uh, personally, my life's doing pretty good. Yes, my knee's messed up. Yes, I have to go to the stupid ass stretching and class every day, which hurts my knee even more. And I have to, it's not like I can't participate in there because if I don't participate, then I can't go to prom. And even though I'm a fucking redneck, fucking heck, <laughs> I do want to go to prom. I uh, got a date. Just a friend. I'm actually, I'll get to what I'm. Just a different friend, okay? Uh, I, we used to date, and uh, just this wasn't really working. Uh, it was a rather long distance. Not not long distance. Like she's in another country or other side of the state. State, other side of the uh, country, but um. It, it was just like sort of a pain to see each other. You could only see each other on weekends. And this was during the summer, by the way. So, uh. <laughs> just that song. Um. But, uh. Yeah. It was, uh. It was fine. We we're still good friends. We've been. We've been friends since we were freaking. She was five and I was six. We've been friends ever since then. We, we didn't always talk. Because, you know, she actually moved away to another state. Not too far, but uh, she moved in. Didn't really talk to her until about four, four, three or four years ago. Uh, we got, we got talking again on, thanks to Facebook. Um, uh, yeah, message each other on there. And uh, a few months later, we started dating for the first time didn't work out. Then over the summer, this past summer, we uh, got back together and then broke up. Mm. Don't worry guys, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. But uh, yeah. We were, we're still friends. She, like, let me know if y'all are like this. I have more girl friends, friends that are girls, than I do guy friends. I enjoy spending time with the girls more than I do the guys. And it's not like, ooh, they, they have boobs, they have an ass, they have a vagina, I gotta hang out with them. No, I'm not like that, seriously. <laughs> um, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're just friendly, really. <laughs> like, <clears throat> and uh, I'm really, I'm really revealing who I am, but uh, I like, I like, I have ears, and I 
most guys don't use them. They think with their fucking penis. And, uh, but I don't. I, I think with this, this head, this head right here, and I use these. These are called ears. Most guys don't use them. They just stare at the boobs. Granted, I do stare at boobs, okay? It's a guy thing. But if I'm, if a girl has trouble, especially if they're my friend, if they're going through a hard time, I am there to listen. I know how to use my ears. If I don't have, if I don't take my ADD mess, I might get distracted by like a scroll or something. But I do listen, and that's probably why. That's probably why most of the girls enjoy my company. I'm not bragging or anything. Like it's just how it is. Uh, yeah. Let me know if any of y'all do like that. Let me know if y'all are doing good in life, with life. How's life treating you? Uh, I do like to... I, I do enjoy knowing how y'all do. Because, I mean, I say it in every video. I don't say, hey guys, what's up? Or, hey subscribers, what's up? I say, hey friends. You know why? Because you guys are my friends. I consider you, all y'all, my friends. Now, granted, there are some people who hate, like, once every once in a blue moon I get that hater but I, I just have zero tolerance for that kind of shit on YouTube so I just delete those comments right away I don't need that shit in this community like our community is friendly and exactly what I wanted just a friendly environment for everybody to come hang out enjoy some videos and enjoy some gameplay and I really wish I could play on servers with y'all uh, that'd be, be amazing, but with farm sim, just the way the synchronizing works, which I hate. Giants, if you're for some reason watching this, please get, try and get rid of the freaking synchronizing. Because people, people like me, with shit internet, take a good, uh, I don't even know because I never try it, because I know it'll take forever. But shit internet people, y'all probably know my pain can't play multiplayer much. So, uh, yeah. Minecraft, see, Minecraft has good multiplayer. Actually, every game, pretty much every game has a pretty good multiplayer. So, uh, wish, wish Promising would be like Minecraft when it comes to multiplayer. Just, you join, you do what you want to do. You know? And my lighting is all messed up. But, uh, let me go to turn my head so y'all can see my eyes. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Don't really have anything else to talk about. Uh, yeah. So, going back to uh, talking about life, my life's good. I got really sidetracked from the actual discussion part. <laughs> I've tried to go back, but I keep getting uh, sidetracked by other thoughts in my brain. But, uh, yeah, hopefully y'all are doing good. Personally, I'm doing pretty damn good. Got a date this weekend. Still have to uh, figure out what we're going to do and when we're going to do it. This past week, there was a couple car meets we could have gone to. I, I don't drive, just one, the doctors wanted me to wait till I'm 18, which I am now, to uh, actually start driving to make sure my ADD is under control, and just because you don't want you don't want me driving and get distracted by a squirrel and then cause a big accident. So they wanted me to wait. So I took the doctor's advice and waited. So probably gonna get my permit here in the coming weeks. I uh, gotta go about an hour out of my way to do that, but it's worth it. Get my ID ID when I'm there so I can actually buy a dip myself without having to worry about being carted. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go to those comments though. I, I, w I had every intention to, and uh, but I went to the one. It wasn't that big when I was there, 
it turns out there only was like five, no, not, not that low. Uh, by the time I left, there was about 20 trucks, that's it. And apparently that's all there was. Then, like 20 minutes after I left, they got shut down by the police. Because they didn't have permission from the store owner uh, to actually meet there. But, uh, the other one, the other one was at a Walmart. And it was a good, from what I hear, there was a good 300 cars there. 300 cars and who knows how many people. At least 300, obviously. But, uh, I was gonna meet up with one of my friends up there. But, and I texted her and said, Hey, how's it? She said, Good. And then, got a mile down the road. She started, texted me and said, You may not want to come. There's police here and they're shutting the damn thing down. So, <clears throat> personally, just the way I was raised and the way I believe, I believe, uh, am I really gonna talk about this? Yes, I am. I believe the good lord was uh, keeping me out of trouble with that one. Because, like, like I said, 20 minutes after I left the first one, the cops showed up and were writing people up. Uh, then the second one, they came in full force, uh, SUVs and everything, and shut that place down. and started doing write ups right away. So, personally, I think the good lord was keeping me out of trouble with that one. So, Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, be be good life. My life's in at a good spot right now. Uh, it sucks being 18. Though. It really sucks sometimes <laughs> doing all this. Actually, I have to do the paperwork in doctor's offices now. It's just I'm not big on putting signatures on papers and that stuff and talking with other people <laughs> uh, that, that's one thing once like all my real friends real life friends know that uh, that I talk on a regular basis with they know that I don't really talk much uh, there'll, there'll be days where I'm like like a fucking diesel truck once I start well that's me basically once I start talking I ain't stopping <laughs> it's hard to you gotta kill me to shut me off <clears throat> Uh, yeah, but most of the time I'm like relaxed, like this. I'll say it's a little, little more, little less breaks in between what I'm saying because I do have to keep it under like 25 minutes. And we're actually getting close to that, but you know, like you're gonna probably hear my voice, just kind of relaxed, somewhat slow talking. Like I said, gotta keep it under 25 minutes, but relaxed voice and just. Just have a good time with with my talking, really. Sounds really weird. But like, most times when I talk, it's either really fucked up, or actually, well, it's one of three things. Fucked up, weird, or somewhat re relevant and helpful. So, I hate that the lighting isn't that great in here, but it is what it is. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up. Uh, I probably have to go inside right now. Uh, got got some business, business, business shit gotta do. Uh, probably probably hop on Hazard Crafter. Uh, see what's up on there. Haven't been on there in a while. So uh, yeah, probably get a Skype call with the uh, other leaders of Hazard Craft. Uh, yeah. Then, honestly, I'll probably uh, call up the, the uh, possible girlfriend to see what she's up to. See if we can't figure out something to do this weekend. There's nothing going on this weekend, okay? There's about two weeks until the buck opens next weekend. Not this coming up weekend, but the next weekend. That's opening day at the buck. Uh, all you, uh, south, southeastern, southern PA residents probably know about the book. Uh, probably some other people know about the book too, but pretty, pretty nice place up there. Good events up there. But, uh, opening day is normally the, uh, I should just look at the schedule. It's Mudbogs and the Tough Truck Series. 
probably probably head up there. Another girlfriend is doing. She's going to a party that weekend. Probably the same day, I think. Probably see if she wants to go. Hopefully, she gets uh, gets off the, oh, out of the party uh, soon enough where we can head up there. Uh, follow me on Facebook. I'll probably or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I'll probably update y'all on if I am going. And maybe maybe we can do like a little meet and greet. Maybe a little chill sesh with Redneck. Like this, but in real life. But I really gotta end the video here. Uh, like I said earlier, put in the comments down below how y'all are doing. And... Because I, I, like I said, I do like to you know. So, uh... Hopefully, y'all enjoyed chilling with Redneck. If you all did, uh... You know, I, I don't do this a lot, but... In the comment you're writing about how your life is doing. Tell me what you think about this video, or just leave a like. Like I said, I don't ask for that kind of stuff often, but uh, it'll help me know what how you guys feel about the series. Maybe I'll do more. But uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed. Until next time, I'll do it again. See you all in the next video. Bye bye.